Number 48, determine the molarity of each of the following solutions, and then we have letter A. So in this case, they told us that we have 1.457 moles of KCl, so 1.457 moles of potassium chloride, in 1.5 liters of the solution. And we just need to find the molarity. Well, if they give us a quantity, and moles is a unit of quantity, how much we have of a substance, in a volume, the molarity formula that we're thinking of is, bam, this guy. Molarity equals the moles of the solute divided by the liters of solution. And remember, a solute is mainly going to be the solid that you dunk into your solvent, and then the whole thing makes up the solution. Now, more quickly, we can know molarity as capital M, so capital M is always a molarity, and that always equals moles divided by liters. Simply put, all right, so I'm just going to put that. We have molarity equals moles divided by liters. Now let's see, we want to find the molarity, which means that we don't know it, so we should know these two guys. Do we know the moles? Yeah, they told us we had 1.457 moles, right? So this number would be 1.457. And then the liters, oh, they told us that too, right? This would be 1.500 liters. So if I just plugged in and did the math, right? Capital M, molarity, that's an ugly M. Capital M equals 1.457 right? And I will just put the units here just for good practice, divided by the 1.500, and that's liters, right? So big L over there. And now I'm just literally solving, calci out. And all I'm doing in the calculator is 1.457 divided by 1.5, right? Sig figs though, if we needed to take sig figs into account, we take the lowest amount that's in one number, but they both have four sig figs. So technically my answer should be 0 0.9713. Now you can do a couple of different units for molarity. Capital M is a molarity unit, so I can say that, but I also can go back to what the units were in the problem, right? It's just moles over liters. Since these are not the same unit, they do not cancel out. So I have to leave them. So in this case, it would be 0.9713 moles per liter. And that's your final answer. This is the molarity, guys. Easy as, easy as pie. I don't know why they say that. Or maybe I just made that up. I don't know. <laughs> but anyway, this is the answer. Just memorize this formula, guys. We're going to be using this over and over and over and over again. All right? So better practice. Let's keep going. Hopefully this helped. Let me know in the comments. Subscribe if you like, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.